Hello everybody, it's Bishop Aaron. I'm speaking to you from my home in Santa Barbara, California. Here to wish everybody a really blessed and happy Christmas. And I wonder if I could just share with you one simple idea that I learned years ago from uh, Joseph Ratzinger, from Pope Benedict XVI. Jesus, of course, is known as the Logos. He's the Word. The Word was made flesh. That's what Christmas is all about. God's mind, God's reason, what stands behind the intelligibility of the world. All of that now is contained in Christ. But here's the difference about Christmas, is the Word becomes flesh, and more precisely becomes this little baby. And the thing about the Word it can seem rather daunting and, and maybe a bit off-putting. And how could I ever you know, get my mind around this extraordinary reality that made the universe? But now the Word becomes a baby, and we all know this. I don't care how kind of old and crusty and curmudgeonly you are, who can resist the baby? The baby, everyone's drawn to a baby. Everybody wants to see the baby. The baby calls out to the heart. I'm thinking now of the great Dietrich von Hildebrand, who talked about the head that appreciates intellectual value, but the heart, the seat of the emotions that responds to the good in a whole different way. So Christmas, this beautiful coming together of head and heart, if you want, God's word, the logos that made the universe, but now a baby that's just so irresistibly charming that he, he calls out to our hearts. And it makes the word so accessible to us. It makes God's wisdom and mind and, and transcendent presence now something that appeals to our hearts. I think that's near uh, the heart of the meaning of Christmas. So I hope everybody, especially those who follow Word on Fire, those who support us, hope you have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. God bless you.